Hi everybody, B. Squigglehausen here, and welcome to a quick tutorial on the best way to kind of get my new Bade Bridge asset looking good. So uh, first of all, just open up the, uh, the roads, ma roads maintenance tab here, and you'll see the six networks, one ways and two ways. I'm going to be using the two way networks, the one way networks, or sorry, I'm going to be using the one way networks. The two way networks are a little bit simpler to use, so uh, still follow along if you just need to use two way, but it's useful in any case. So uh, right now I have built one bridge approach just kind of up and I want to bridge this gap. So bridge approach should raise itself to about 53 meters over water. That will give the best kind of look and you'll try to avoid the seam down here uh, where the nice textured concrete meets the game's default concrete. You can see that there. But uh, you can go a little bit lower. Uh, I'd personally try to keep some concrete sticking out but uh, again, up to you, and if you don't need a bridge to be that high, you can definitely still use this. Anyway, so the first thing you should do if you're starting with a bridge approach is actually, I'm gonna bring it, you want to figure out a way to get one short segment done. So I'm gonna actually pull this out. You wanna bring it about 100 meters just so it doesn't spawn the bridge. Uh, and I'm going to lower this back to the 54 meters that I think is the best height. And now you can either just straight pull the bridge across, which is fine, but I think it keeps the pillars a little too close together. You can get them a little bit farther if... I'm using precision engineering, by the way, but you don't need it. You can actually stretch a single span to exactly 300 meters, which is uh, pretty impressive in this game, actually. Uh, and ends up looking just about right. Of course, I'm going to pause it so my water doesn't keep flowing underneath. Anyway, so we can drag it up to as far as it'll go here with 300 meters, uh, and then we can do that again, and try to get 300 once again, and perfect. So it's unfortunately not quite straight, but we can fix that later with move it, and we can delete that little piece that we just built off. So now we have our span kind of slightly standalone. I'm gonna use the nodes uh, marquee select for this to just grab all the nodes here, and then we're gonna line them up to, I think this tower is the best, and there we go, so that's not bad. We're now going to just quickly work on the shaping. So we can raise this by five, lower this by 10 on the end. One, two, three, four. And nice, so that's kind of a nice arc. You get uh, five control points, because you get one where the cables hit the deck on each end and one each at each tower. So uh, what we can do now to get a nice anchorage to kind of really complete the bridge look is grabbing the suspension one way and the straight tool. It's very important to have this and make sure that it intersects at 180 degrees. If you need to curve it, make sure that this node is 180 degrees straight uh, and pretty much just drag out. Right now, obviously, this is in the perfect position to connect and we have the uh, thing all set up. We have the anchorage here all set up nicely. We'll fix the direction of the roads later because right here now you want to grab it and pull it to just where it can't go any larger or any longer before turning into the suspension bridge. That's going to be a hundred meters so it ends up kind of anchoring this bridge just right. It'll actually continue the cables very slightly in down here. So the trick with the one way versus the two way is that you always need to drag the, for either network, you need to drag the anchorage section away from the bridge. You can then reverse things with no problem, with no impact on the actual bridge structure itself, and it'll stay asymmetrical uh, and exactly how you want it. So just like that, I've straightened this all out and you can see our nice bridge has an arc where it needs to doesn't have an arc there. Actually, it looks slightly sloppy, so we can just use move it. And again, highly recommend this. Tune your bridge entirely in terms of shape before you begin the lower deck section. So I'm going to make sure that everything is as arced as I want it. Make sure that your shape is perfect for the upper deck first. This is very important. Now I'm just going to grab my approach ramp and I want to continue it out just a little bit. Uh, we'll say that there's an interchange very close to here, so we'll continue it and lower it. I highly recommend using the straight slope option, though I'm not right now. Uh, now you're just going to reverse all these. Make sure your one way just is consistent, because that's uh, obviously not going to make your road work if it wants to be two different ways. Now, using Move It to do the lower deck, we're going to grab the entire bridge with all the nodes and copy it. Now this part's very important as well. You want to make sure that follow terrain is off because if it's on, you'll see that uh, it does not work so well. We want to make sure that if, since it's off, it'll follow the exact contour of the bridge we already have set up. So now just grab that and place it nearby. That'll work. 
If you're okay with having two bridges, you're done. You can just do one in each direction and reverse the other one. But if you don't want to do that, we need to get in a little bit, uh, get, get to doing a little bit of changing. So reverse the direction of the road, then grab your lower deck one way segment, I suppose. Uh, now, if you're actually doing the lower deck, the lower deck segments have different versions. The elevated has street lights and posts and looks very nice. I like it at least. But the bridge version uh, actually doesn't have these things. When you stretch it out farther, it has, it's just extremely plain. The bridge version is what we need to go, well, in the lower deck of the bridge. So select force the bridge with using uh, fine road tools, grab lower deck one way, and start upgrading to this. You'll see that it ends up very, very plain, but that's okay because what's gonna happen is we now have a compact four lane version of the bridge. It's very slim vertically and it matches our exact contour. So when you open up, move it again, it'll probably still have your nodes selected, but if it doesn't, you just reselect them. Move the, lo the lower deck that we just created onto into position. I like to use the um, the handrails here as a guide because you can see if they get extra wide or not. And even if they're slightly wide, that's honestly, it's gonna be close enough almost always. There's a decent amount of leeway here. So line it up as best as you can and using the page down key, lower it down into the correct position at the bottom of the bridge. Uh, it ends up looking perfect. And now you can see we have a double decker bridge. So now real quick, just to get the bridge out of the end of the uh, of the truss section here, what you could do is just grab your lower deck one way, uh, force elevated now. Elevated is very important because we can have street lights and similar, and just drag one section up to your upper deck. And what that does is it opens up the end of the truss, which allows you to grab a curved segment, uh, make sure it snaps to the lower deck properly, and you can now very carefully snake your other deck out, and it's perfect. Just a quick. Uh, Oh no, I guess we did it the right way. Uh, anyway, so that's about it right there. Thank you guys so much. Uh, if you're ready to kind of get going on your own bridge, then you're done. But uh, real quick, I really like using some of these approach networks for their own overpasses. I think it looks really good, kind of very classic. Uh, and then if you're really ambitious, you can do what I've done here and use the anchorage sections of the actual suspension bridge to make a really nice looking kind of super solid bridge. Of course, these all have lower decks. So if you want to, you can throw rail in there. You can throw a tram, even a monorail. Just find something that's slim enough that it won't clip through the top. And of course, you're going to want to make sure that you have some way of removing the pillars like network skins or just moving them all out of the way or similar. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. That's about it. So please, thank you for downloading the asset. Thanks for watching. Make sure you follow me on the Steam Workshop for more cool bridges and things. Make sure you subscribe to me here for more cool videos and things. And anyway, that's it. Thanks again, and I will see you next time.